You are welcome to the Guru Perspective once again, and I want to play you that please touch the button. Of course, uh, comment, share it. But your comment is very, very essential because that teleguide us, that tells us move this way, move that way, so as to present the best. Because we want to give you the best. But our best can better be directed by your input. And that is what your comment stands for. Please oblige us that in whole righteousness and faithfulness. God bless you. Let's move. The question today is that the Nigerian insecurity, why is it defying arrest? Why can't solution be found? And I want to be as sincere as I can today in this discussion. I will not move to the solution without tracing the genesis. Because if you look at the Bible, you have Genesis, which speaks ab about the beginning. Then you have the Exodus. That's the movement. So nobody can really actually tell you this and that about security without identifying how it started. If you know the trajectory of starting point of insecurity, then you would not know how come that nearly every leader politically appointed in Nigeria, even those who fall upon us with military mind, are not getting it very easy in solving the problem. Instead of getting it easy solving the problem on this subject, I want to narrow it down now to the political, uh, 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 dem democratically elected the leaders. Instead of them, they will tell you that I will do this, I will do this, I will do this. Immediately they are elected, instead of them bringing solutions, instead of them offering all the solutions they promised, you see them fall, becoming member and going deeper and deeper into the membership of the terrorism. Is it because the terrorism has a way of swallowing them? Or is it because there was an accord somewhere in the beginning that they must oblige to? Or is it the result of sign agreement, sign contract, either sign or not sign, but agreed upon that this for this, this for this, until we are able to establish the beginning, we will find it difficult to bring solution. But all the same, let us keep on endeavoring for that solution. Because I, as a person, I am not happy with situations of things in Nigeria today. I'm not too young. Though I'm a very young bubble as a national youth leader, I am young, but I'm not too young. I have seen the trend from beginning to today with all the blessings of this number of years that God has given to me on earth. I am not happy that this is where Nigeria is concerning insecurity. What is insecurity? Today, we can better define them and classify them into four categories. You have uh, banditry or bandits. You have terrorism or terrorists. You have uh, uh, insurgency or uh, uh, insurgents. Then you have, this is a new definition. This is a new grouping. I don't think the dictionary of Nigeria criminality has accommodated it, but let us give it the name that is being called today. The unknown gunman, uh, which is uh, the gunman, <laughs> the gunman that I mean. But what fact is this? Either a kidnapping, either a banditry, either a terrorism, either your no government, all of them operate with guns and ammunition, arms and ammunition. All of them operate with maximum, maximum authority of instruments of terror. So they are terrorists. To me, that is the way I would define them. They are terrorists. But when did this start in Nigeria? Um, rising against what one does not want is protesting. Protesting and protesters are not new to Nigeria. In 1929, the Abba riot protest picked up by our elegant and gallant women who chose that we are not new to protest, that we are protesters. What we are new to is this definition of banditry, terrorism, uh, insurgency, uh, kidnap no, kidnapping also is not new. Kidnapping is not too new. Uh, 
bomo bomo is a Yoruba language for bomo bomo mini capsule is the capsule is the recorded for find the definition. Please, those of you who don't understand Yoruba better, you can help me in your comment. Let's hear back from you. It, it has always been there. But the protesters that are protesting have always been properly defined that you cannot take this much from us without it giving you us this much. Or you cannot do this, or we do that. Because when the issue of tax came and women were meant to, the Abba riot came up and they made their, their case. And the government of the day then, the White House, they, they respected the opinion and they rose. When uh, Madame Kuti, the mother of Fela and Kuti, the mother of uh, the Hetman and all of them, when the, 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 the riot came in Abba Kuta, they stood for something, they defined it. Meaning it is an issue that can easily be brought before the table. Okay, you see there, I sit here. Yes, 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 I analyze it. But what we have now come to see today in the issue of banditry, in the issue of insurgency, in the issue of uh, terrorism, in the issue of uh, kidnapping, in the issue of uh, 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 no government, they define the logic of definition. They define it. So that is why we want to go. What we want to do now is can we find the genesis, the beginning of this problem? And can we look at the metaphor, the way that our leaders, political leaders, the way they rise into political limelight before they go out to go and meet people? Please vote for me. Because if you vote me as the president, all these problems, solution will come overnight. The way they rise, let us look at it. Is there anything there that could have made the land very, very fatal for terrorism, for banditry, for all this thing we are calling, we have to look at that. Then again, we have to look at the investors into the climate of criminalism because there are investors. If we invest, if people can invest millions of dollars into criminality, are they not expected to reap something that will give them at least double of their investment at profit level, we will look at this. Then we equally look, we we'll equally look, who are these people, or what is their interest, and what are the elements that are very, very much available for them to achieve what they wanted to achieve? Could religion be one of them, or what are other things that are associated? We we'll now look at it, and in looking at this, we identify some individuals. It doesn't really matter much. Because we are looking for a solution. There, from there, we can now get uh, the solution. But I will come back to make the things more available. Senior.